Up to now, we talked about mechanisms for virtualizing the memory resource. In particular, for dealing with dynamic memory pressure and sharing machine pages across VMs. A higher level issue is the policies we have to use for allocating and reclaiming memory from the domains to which we've allocated them in the first place. Ultimately, the goal of virtualization is maximizing the utilization of the resources. Memory is a precious resource. Virtualized environments may use different policies for memory allocation. One can be a pure share-based policy. The idea here is you pay less, you get less. That's the idea. So if you have a service level agreement with the data center, then the data center gives you a certain amount of resources based on the amount of dollars you put on the table. So that is a pure share-based approach. The problem with the share-based approach is, of course, the fact that it could lead to hoarding. <laughs> if a virtual machine gets a bunch of resources and is not really using it, you're just wasting it. Now, the desired behavior is if the working set of a virtual machine goes up, you give it more memory. If its working set shrinks, get back the memory so that you can give it to somebody else. So a working set-based approach would be the saner approach. But at the same time, if I paid money, I need my resources. So one thing that can be done is sort of put these two ideas together in implementing a dynamic, idle-adjusted shares approach. In other words, we're going to tax the guys that are hoarders. So it tax the idle pages more than active pages. If I've given you a bunch of resources, if you're actively using it, more power to you. But if you're hoarding it, I'm going to tax you. I'm going to take away the resources that I gave you. And you may not even notice it because you're not using it anyway. So that's the idea in the dynamic idle adjusted shares approach. And now what is this tax? Well, we could make the tax rate 0%. That is plutocracy, meaning you paid for it, you got it, you can sit on it. I'm not going to tax you. That's one approach. Or I could make the tax 100%, meaning that if you've got some resources and you're not using it, I'm going to take all of it away. <laughs> so that's the wealth redistribution, sort of a socialistic policy. Use it or lose it. And in other words, if you make the tax 100%, we are ignoring shares altogether. Now, something in between is probably the best way to do it. So for instance, if you use a tax rate of 50% or 75%, saying if you have idle pages, then the tax rate is 50%. There's a 50% chance I'll take it away. And that's what is being done in the VMware ESX server today in terms of how to allocate memory to the domains that need it. You are going to use share-based approach, but if you're not actively using it, we're going to take it away from you. But of course, we'll give it back to you if you start using it. And that's the reason why you don't want to make the tax 100% but have it somewhat smaller. So by having a tax rate that is not quite 100%, but maybe 50% or 75%, we can reclaim most of the idle memory from the VMs that are not actively using it. But at the same time, since we are not taxing the idle pages 100%, it allows for sudden working set increases that might be experienced by a particular domain. Suddenly, a domain starts needing more memory, at that point, it may still have some reserves in terms of the idle pages that I did not take away from that particular domain. So the key point is that you don't want to tax at 100% because this allows for certain working set increases that may be there in a virtual machine that happens to be idle for some time, but suddenly work picks up.